That's a very broad question. How much can you do each week of avoiding overtraining? It, it, it depends. It's harder on a bike because it's less impact. When you're running, you get in your joints. You know. Cycling, you do quite a lot before you get an injury. Unless you're not paying attention and, and grow the handlebars and bust your collarbone. You can do a fair bit. The body can handle a lot. It's more about people's lifestyle. When they get off the bike, do they get on their Facebook and go, oh, yeah, yeah, and then, and then out like, oh, I haven't drunk anything. Oh, I haven't eaten anything. So I've been distracted on the internet. And that's going to affect their training. So they might be doing enough. The bike riding's all right, but then they get home and they're not eating and drinking straight away. So it depends on the person's recovery. It depends on how much base mileage they've done. Are they riding for one month or for 20 years? Yeah, so it depends a lot of things. <coughs> so that's why we say just eat as much as you want. I need to cut carbohydrate calories, smash the water in, so you're peeing clear. Get a bit early, get out there and explore. So you can do a fair bit. You'll quickly learn. But a lot of, and it can be very mental as well, because you're like, oh, my, my legs don't feel good, and I don't, you know. One day I rode from Gold Coast, Australia to Cairns, North Queensland, 2,000 kilometres, all raw, on 50 bucks, sleeping by the side of the road. I was eating like raw pumpkin, sugar cane, going to the supermarket, just like eating grapes, like, this one's not good, I'll come back again and have a bunch of, just like foraging in the supermarket. <laughs> so it's like, lost so much weight in like just a week. And, uh, but then I was just like riding along, I was just so tired, and this guy zoomed past me. And I thought I was dead, I was like, oh, I'm so tired. And this guy zoomed past me, first guy in 2,000 kilometers, just whoo, didn't even say good day. I was like, all right. On. I just switched it up, caught his wheel, and I'm just like flogging it. And I was like, I went from like, I'm um, knackered to like, let's race. <laughs> so the mind is very, very powerful. <coughs> the strongest drug is the mind. <coughs> the strongest steroid, the strongest aphrodisiac, the strongest everything is in the mind. Strongest stimulant. How many times in life we've had someone say, you can't do that. <laughs> Who the fuck do you think you are? And you're like, I'm going to do whatever it takes to prove that person wrong. So you just turn it on. And you can overtrain as well. See? Sometimes we have to overtrain to work out how far we can go. Sometimes in life you have to turn the screw one too many turns and then it snaps. Unless you're snapping screws in life, you're not really pushing the envelope. If you're not living on the edge, you're taking up too much space. So snap a few screws here and there. Just make sure they're not expensive ones. Don't snap your legs, but you know, just push the envelope with a bit of logic, a bit of wisdom. Step it out there, but you know, don't crash on the downhills. Don't swim with crocodiles. You know what I mean? Like, just push it a little, push the little envelope a little bit more. We can handle a lot more than we think we can. We just need to be smart about it. Find the balance. Again, to find the balance, you have to get out of balance. People, too, too many of us, and myself included. In the past, I wouldn't do anything. I'm like, and then you don't find nothing. To get something, you've got to do something. Well, I mean, 